guest is here with a song from his latest album, Here Come the Choppers. And on August 12th, he'll be appearing at the Bethlehem Music Fest in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Loudon Wainwright III. My grandmother was like no other. Too bad you didn't meet her. Every day at three, she'd have a GNT. At bridge, you could not beat her. Christmas time, she'd end up crying. Listening to Chevalier. And I got 10 bucks in a card each year in September for my birthday. My grandmother didn't much bother too much about being a granny. She didn't bake or knit, she didn't give up. Us kids called her nanny in the summertime. We'd visit her and take the train up to Rhode Island. Westerly Ollie's taxi pick us up, we'd all pile. Going up to Watch Hill, Rhode Island Spend a couple of weeks with Nanny Watch Hill, Rhode Island Home of America's oldest carousel Check it out! Yeah, my grandmother, my sister, and my brother and me all went to the ocean in her cabana there in that big beach chair, she'd survey our commotion. At the yacht club, we'd get our grub. We had grinders and grape sodas. What a dream, popcorn, ice cream, two weeks, no junk food quotas. My grandmother would light up another. You know, that cough of hers was chronic. She didn't drink wine, but she was just fine with that nice tall gin and tonic. Nanny had opinions. Nanny wasn't prissy. She said that men were queer who just drank beer and ginger ale was for sissies. When we told Nanny we were gonna name her first great-grandchild Rufus, she said, Rufus? Rufus? That's a dog's name. My grandmother provided cover for me when times got tricky. She took me in despite my sin when I was busted in the late 60s. She found me a job in a boatyard. In her kitchen, I cooked my brown rice and vegetables and hijiki seaweed. Wasn't too long before I wrote my first song. Pretty soon I'd done it twice. My grandmother was like no other. Too bad you didn't meet her. Every day at three, she'd have a G and T at bridge. You could not beat her. Christmas time, she'd end up crying. Just listening to Maurice Chevalier. And I got 10 bucks and a card each year in September for my birthday. One year I got a 20 from Nanny on my birthday. Thank you, sir. Great to see you. Well, great to see you. Loud and Wayne right the third. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. That's our show. Do you want to thank my guests? That was terrific. Thank you very much. Loud and Wayne Wright III. Thank you, sir, for being here. Here come the choppers. Big thanks to DJ Qualls for being here. Thanks, DJ. Thank you. You can have that mug. Watch your guitar on this guy. Our big thanks to Lisa Kudrow for being here. Max Weinberg, the Max Weinberg 7. Thank you for the last call with Todd. Bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs>
A few months ago, I discovered a really cool show on the Cartoon Network called the Justice League Unlimited. Unlike the old Justice League that featured the Wonder Twins and Gleek the Space Monkey, the new show featured classic DC comic book characters like Batman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash. So you can imagine how happy I was when I discovered that Target was selling some of the characters as action figures. There were two sizes, 4-inch and 10-inch figures, and of course I wanted to purchase them both. <laughs> finding The Flash, Superman, and Aquaman was easy, but finding the other characters has been a considerable challenge. When I finally found the 10-inch Wonder Woman, she came as a set with Batman. I guess that's because on the TV series, they're dating. But what am I supposed to do with two 10-inch Batmans? If that weren't enough, I can't find any 10-inch figures for three other characters, Hawk Girl, Green Lantern, and Martian Manhunter. I had better luck with the 4-inch figures, but I found that they don't stand up very well on their own. I finally had to glue them down to keep them from falling. That's simply outrageous. Bottom line, America, the new Justice League action figures should be easier to find and collect, and the 4-inch figures should stand up without glue.